Hi, I'm Troy from Front Range Float Designs and I'm here to go over the installation of your fish bones onto your board. Uh, congratulations on making the purchase. We're very excited for you to find your fish. Um, this is a super, super easy installation. You don't even have to touch a screwdriver um, and, or, or an Allen wrench or remove a screw. But it is really important to be precise. So we want to make sure that you view the video, that you read your instructions, and that you follow those instructions to the uh, best that you can. So uh, what you're going to get when you order your fish bones, they'll come in your quiver bag. Your quiver bag is meant for you to be able to keep your fish bones in them, especially if you have more than one set. And that way, if you're in the field or on a ride, you can change them out to a different, uh, a different size. All right. So inside your quiver bag, you're going to find an alcohol swab. You're going to find uh, it's a little different than the alcohol swabs that are just made of little uh, cloth. These are going to be more like a Q-tip. I'm using a Q-tip to represent them here. You're going to have your fillet card here, and that will be used to help you hot swap or remove or replace or change out your fish bones. Then, of course, you're going to have your fish bones. So let's just talk for a second before we begin the installation about how the fish bones work with the snap and flow system. The snap and flow system is essentially the Velcro that lines uh, along the long spine of the fishbone and along the top edge of the fishbone that ends up on your board. You're ultimately going to place your fishbones in this uh, position here. Now this adhesive backing here is on the back of one piece of Velcro, but as you can see, the Velcro is already affixed. It should come affixed to you uh, from the Front Range Float Designs factory and if you, if you can tell here, it, it's already placed down and, and stuck together. So uh, that's what ultimately you're using is two pieces of Velcro that are already stuck together. It's called hook and hook Velcro. We call it snap and flow. Now uh, what you're going to want to do is when we take the backing off, you will place the fish bone here in the right place and we'll talk about how to find that right place. Okay. So. Um, the first thing you want to do is just take your alcohol swab, Q-tip, and you're going to want to go ahead and clean your grip tape. I have a stock board here that's pretty clean uh, already, and just sort of wipe it, uh, wipe your grip tape down with this alcohol swab so that you get any dirt out of the edges of your grip tape. Uh, the, the, the less dirt you have there, the better it will affix the board. Something else to pay attention to is any mashup damage that you might have, and what I mean by that is if you've ever done nudges or tried to drop curbs or just dropped your board like you may have some damage to the edge of your uh, nose of your board so a great way to deal with that is to get a metal file or heavy grade sandpaper and just go ahead and work that edge so that it's not mashed up if it's mashed up it can affect the adhesive and your fish bones may not stick as well so that's a great way to deal with that um, next thing you want to do is you're going to use your fillet card in the installation process uh, and the reason that we use that is to help us find the proper placement. So I've got my fishbone here. This one's going to be the fishbone for this side. Uh, this one's going to be the fishbone for this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing off of the snap and flow. Um, you want to be careful not to put this down at this phase because anything that gets on this adhesive will uh, cause it uh, will compromise it. So just make sure that you have uh, a nice clean surface and you're ready to go. Now using the fillet card, place it against your rail. You can place it over your your power port. Um, but essentially that is where you want you want to put your fishbone up against the edge of that rail. Now along the front, you're just going to place the fishbone along the edge of the front of the nose. Um, but along the rail here, you can just use your fillet card to find out where the flush point is, and that will be the proper placement of your fishbone. Uh, it's very important that you get this placement right because we are uh, trying to avoid the sensor with fishbones. That is the whole point of them is to not give you any interference with the sensor. So uh, once you place them on, you're then going to want to just press down. You want to give it a good one or two minutes of pressing down on the adhesive onto the um, top of the grip tape that you're using. And then you just want to repeat the process on the other side. Uh, remove the backing. Place your play card over your power port in this, uh, in this case. 
And then you want to just put up against the front edge of your board on the top and just slightly touching the, uh, the fillet card on the back along the long spine. That gives you the right placement. Once you've set it down, again, we're just going to go through this process of applying pressure uh, to your fishbone <coughs> along that contact side, the, the back as well as the, as well as the top. You want to do that for a good one or two minutes. Now, uh, once you have finished that process, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is let them cure. Uh, there are two things that are extremely important about the curing of these fish bones, and that, that is pressure and, and time. So those are the two things that you need, and you need to be patient with those so that you make sure that your fish bones stay affixed to your board. Uh, pressure and time. Uh, what I like to use is a, I got a bunch of magazines, thick, heavy magazines here, so I'm just going to set them down on the front of my board. Now you can use a milk crate, or in this case I've got some peanut butter jars underneath either of the, the tail and the nose just to uh, sit, allow my board to sit up straight, because you want that pressure to go directly down onto your fish bones. Now, you need to leave your weight uh, your pressure on your fish bones for 24 hours, a minimum of 24 hours. It's very important. Please don't be impatient. You'll have a blast for a long time on these, but it's important to follow these installation instructions. So uh, set your weight down. Um, put a little bit more weight on there if you want, a case of beer, whatever you want. Here's some books. And go ahead and let it sit. Leave it for 24 hours, uh, and you should be good to go. Now, your uh, snap and flow will adhere for a long time. It should not come off of your board if treated properly. The uh, snap and the adhesion uh, should hold. Now, the actual Velcro can degrade over time. And just like grip tape, it's probably good for three or 400 miles, depending on how much you're swapping them out. For that reason, you have been provided an extra set of snap and flow in your Fishbones kit. That should get you anywhere to 600 to 800 miles. Uh, we have very inexpensive snap and flow material that you can purchase to replace if yours degrades to a point beyond that. Uh, available on our website at www.fishbones.life. We really hope you enjoy these. We love them and we hope you do too.